Hi, this is James from Square Internet, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to place a test order on WooCommerce using Stripe. So, placing a test order is something that is really useful for if you want to check that your checkout process is working as it should be. Maybe you've updated some plugins or you have some concerns about whether your customers can check out on your store correctly. It's a way for you to test that the checkout is working okay without any money actually changing hands. So I'm going to walk you through the process step by step, but when you use the test mode that Stripe has, you'll be able to place an order as a customer would and see what they see. But as I said, no money will change hands. So you don't have to worry about issuing a refund or any of the other steps that go along with an actual checkout on your website. So what I've got here is a version of WordPress with WooCommerce that I've set up locally on my computer and it's got the, the storefront, uh, default storefront WooCommerce theme. So it's a fresh install of WordPress and WooCommerce. And I've got some demo data and I'm going to show you how you can set your website up uh, so that it's using test mode and so that you can make some test purchases to, chest, to check that everything is working as it should be. So the first thing that we need to do is to go into the admin panel. And just as a note, uh, in case you didn't pick up on the start of the video, what I was saying, to, to follow through with this process, you need to have Stripe enabled as a payment method on your WooCommerce website, because we're going to be using the test mode that Stripe provides to place test orders. So within the dashboard, we're going to come to WooCommerce settings, and then we're going to go into payments. And as you can see, we've got Stripe enabled as a payment method here. I'm going to click manage. And the section we need to look at is here where it says test mode. As you can see, we've already got test mode enabled and two things that you need to input here are the test publishable key and the test secret key. So you grab these keys from your Stripe dashboard and they're necessary to use Stripe in test mode or live mode. And I'll walk you through how to get those in a second. Um, you may already have them in your dashboard. If you haven't, as I said, I'm going to show you how to get them, but you need to make sure that you have test mode enabled and that you have the correct publishable key and secret key, and then just click save changes. So if your website is currently using live mode, which most websites will be, you'll have, um, your live publishable key and live secret key here. We're just going to click test mode, save changes and your website will have been placed into test mode. So now I'm going to show you how you can grab these two keys that you need to make test mode work. And you can get these from your Stripe dashboard. So if you log into your Stripe account, the area you want to go into is the developers tab here. So you'll want to click on developers and then API keys. And something you want to take note of and make sure that you do is to make sure that you're viewing the test data and not live data, because obviously we want to be placing test orders. So you need to make sure that you've got this toggled at the moment. I can't actually, um, toggle between live and test because this is just an account I've set up for testing, but typically your account would be in live mode and you'd want to click on this to toggle into test mode to view your test keys. And an easy way to tell, uh, in, you know, if you're getting the right key, um, it's got it in the name here. It's got underscore test. The live key I think has underscore live. So all that you'll want to do then is to grab the two, the two keys. So you'll want to grab your test key and you'll want to place it. Uh, so the publishable key you want to grab and place in 
the test publishable key section and the secret key which you get by clicking reveal secret key you then want to do the same copy the key and just paste it where it says test secret key click save changes and that should be all that you need to do to place your website into test mode and now I'll show you how to actually place the test purchase so I'm just going to add something to the cart and go to view cart I'm not sure I've actually got the cart page set up on this I'll just go straight to um, the checkout page which I did set up uh, one second okay so here's the uh, the default WooCommerce checkout page that I've set up and the the bit that we want to pay attention to is this section here as you can see pay with your credit card via stripe test mode enabled and it's provided me with a, a test card number that I'm going to use to place the test payment so you need to make sure that you use the card number provided for you when uh, Stripe is set in test mode expiry date and uh, card security code these can be any expiry date or security codes so the expiry date just has to be a date that's in the future from the date of the purchase so if today's the 27th uh, of November 2019 for example I would have to put um, what are we in? So that's 11 2019. I have to put 12 2019, for example. And then I'll just put 125 here. And then this should go through. Okay. okay so the order's gone through successfully because we can see we've got the order received page up here um, so there was no error mas message flagged um, when you've got your WooCommerce website set up and configured properly with all the pages what you will see is the order received page I think I might be able to just grab it from my orders actually just to show you that the orders processed successfully so yeah so here's the order that I just placed it's gone into um, the orders part of the dashboard. Stripe charge complete, order change from pending, payment to processing. Um, so as you can see, it's that simple. It's just a case of uh, going into your WooCommerce settings, the Stripe settings, setting the website into test mode, which you do by grabbing the, the test publishable key and the test secret key from your dashboard. And then you place an order as if you were a customer, but make sure to use the card number provided to you by Stripe. Uh, the expiry date needs to be any point in the future from the current month. And the security code, you can use anything that you'd like. And then it might probably be a good idea to cancel these test orders depending on um, uh, your setup with. Uh, your shipping provider because uh, some shipping providers may not differentiate between a test order and a live order on your website so you don't want test orders being shipped out um, that have been processed you know that shouldn't be processed by your um, shipping provider so uh, as a rule of thumb I'd recommend probably just deleting the test orders once they've gone through successfully this is also really useful for debugging because um, typically this will redirect to an order receive template and it will show you the um, the order um, but if the order doesn't go through successfully the the checkout page will display an error with the error code at the top of the checkout page when you go to um, place the order so it's either going to help you determine that yes everything's working as it should be or it will display an error message that you can provide to your developer to try and debug what might be going wrong or you know why the order's not processing successfully just going to delete those orders quickly as i said so there you go it's a nice and simple method of placing your website in test mode 
to place a test order to see that everything is working as it should be. You can also do this on a staging environment, a copy of your live website if you don't want to place your live website in test mode. So what you could do is to literally just create a fresh staging environment before you do this. So um, hosts like SiteGround have got built in one click staging creation. So you can literally just create uh, a copy of your store, set the store to test mode, place a test order to ensure that everything's working as it as it should be. If you have more of a higher volume store or if you don't want to um, place the live website in test mode for a few minutes. Otherwise, you can maybe just try it um, at like a low volume time for your store. Just quickly set it in test mode, place the test order and then change back to live mode. Uh, but remember to always switch back to live mode if you want to use this testing method on your live website. Hopefully you found the video useful. If there's anything that doesn't make sense to you or you're not sure about after watching it, please just um, place a comment and if I can help, I'm more than happy to uh, expand on the video and answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for future videos.